Hi everyone, welcome to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I have a very short video going over the patch notes for the latest update of The Last of Us video game. This for the patch version 1, 1.1. Let's get this underway. A patch for The Last of Us Part of 1 is now live. This update addresses fixes for visuals, user experience, crash fixes and more. It also includes platform and hardware specific fixes. Fixed a crash that could occur when restarting a permadeath speedrun after dying. Fixed a crash that could occur when rapidly switching through available skins. Fixed an issue where reflections were not appearing in vehicles' rearview mirrors when real-time reflections are disabled. Options, graphics, real-time reflections quality. Fixed missing rock and rock wall textures in several areas. Fixed issues where players could see outside the game world in some locations. Fixed quick turn animations when zooming without a gun equipped. Fixed VRAM usage indicator when resetting graphics settings to default after restarting the game. Corrected several in-game menu and text-to-speech translation errors. Fixed an issue where monitor resolution was not correctly adjusted when using the reset to defaults command. Options are displayed reset to defaults. Fixed the bow's UI icon overlapping with arrow counts when a melee weapon is also equipped. Updated loading percent user interface, UI. So loading progress is tracked more evenly. Fixed an issue that could cause graphic settings. Preview images not to appear fixed. Several camera related issues that could occur when running the game at high frame rates. Photo mode. Fixed an issue blocking full selection of presets when using gaze direction. Photo mode. Fixed an issue where arrow icons were not interactable when using a mouse to change the color of frames. Model viewer. Fixed an issue that resulted in multiple models to be highlighted at once, the outskirts. Fixed the appearance of water when image-based lighting is disabled. Options at graphics as image-based lighting. Tommy's Dam. Fixed a crash that could occur in a cutscene during extended play sessions, the university. Adjusted the visual appearance of fog, bus depot. Fixed a camera issue that also led to a crash when traversing across the bus while the game is running at high frame rates, bus depot. Fixed a crash that could occur in a cutscene during extended play sessions. Before I continue, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel to support my work. Thank you. Left Behind Standalone fixed a crash that could occur if Ellie is wearing the Seattle wear skin when starting. Left Behind, Malrats. Fixed an issue where the health bar could become stuck on screen, Malrats. Fixed a crash that could occur when switching through multiple skins before loading into the level accessibility fixed screen magnifier zoom functionality when using accessibility cord inputs. Options and accessibility to alternate controls at input remap accessibility cord inputs. Steam Deck. Fixed directional button controls for behind the scenes podcast navigation extras behind the scenes. AMD fixed checkerboard patterns that appear on screen when using motion blur on AMD RX 580 and RX 590 series, GPUs NVIDIA, update, known issue, for players using NVIDIA graphics drivers who are experiencing a crash on boot. Please check whether you're using an NVIDIA Insider graphics driver, 545.37. If you are, players should roll back to the latest publicly available driver, 536.67 which should solve this particular crash.